Hey guys, welcome back to your own channel. I hope you are well. Today's video is about a question that I got 20 hours ago on the channel on the previous video that I posted, I think yesterday. Today I'm going to answer this specific question. Okay, so um, first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to just open a single avatar that I've designed before with clothes on, okay? So I'm going to go to um, my files and since there's nothing in here, I'm going to press open project because I have saved it as project. So I'm going to like open this first one. And by default, when you open your project, it will appear on the middle of your grid, okay? So this is my grid and it actually comes from the gizmo that we have. So uh, this red line represents uh, this line, the blue line represents this line, and the green line represents the line that the avatar is standing down to here so this is basically how it works the other thing is that wherever your avatar appears on the 2d grid which we only have line one and two meaning this and this here you will also see your patterns being in that area okay so like if i had like normally we do it like this we put the pants down the line and the upper design and uh, and patterns go higher than the line okay so normally in 2d this is how we place them and remember in 2d after you have added your avatar it really doesn't matter where you put your um patterns this will not affect the 3d window okay now we're going to add another avatar to the scene so this time i'm going to press add instead of open so I'm going to add another project and this time when we want to add the second project this window will pop up and it's going to ask us whether we want to add it or open it so if you press open this will be deleted and the new file will open so we don't want this to be deleted we're going to add and I want the garment and the avatar both to be here with all the render properties, okay? So these are all good to go. We don't have to change them. And here is the part that may answer your question. So if you have problem with moving them after you're adding them, you can decide before adding where you want your avatars to stand. So let's change them one by one. So I'm going to put one for our X line and M represents meter. Let's see where the avatar will sit. Okay, so X, we put it on one and I'm gonna delete this. This was by default changed before, but normally when you do open by default, all of these are zero, okay? Every time that you open an avatar, by default, all these are zero, which will make it come to the center. So I'm going to change this to one meters and press OK. And as you can see, the X line means that the avatar will appear one meter away from the center to the right side of my first avatar. Okay, everything basically is measured from the center. So one meters away from the center to the right. So here again, you can see that the patterns also are away from the first pattern, which was in the center. So if I hadn't moved this pants down, uh, the patterns would be appearing here, um, placing on each other. So in that case, it doesn't really matter. Before clicking on your screen, you can just simply like move your patterns, okay? So again, I'm gonna just like, Okay, now we're gonna add another avatar. So this time we're gonna try open, let's see what happens. Open a project. 
look it's asking you file not saved do you want to save so we don't want to really uh, we don't want to open another program or file so that's why i'm going to close this and this time file add okay so you have to add remember i'm going to add another project again the box will appear it's on add okay so this time instead of this i'm going to put this on one Oh, it's 10. One meters, and I'm gonna delete this and put this on zero, okay? So on the Y or Y, uh, and you can see that it's going to be one meter higher from the center. So for this part, uh, when you have clothes on your avatars, but you don't like the place that it's standing, what can we do? The first thing is that you must know for joints, we have an option here in avatar display that you can select joints and with joints, you can move your avatars. But this is only for the avatar. So if I right now select any place of the joint, like I'm, uh, I selected from the elbow. Okay. So if I like change this, you can see that the garment is not moving with it okay and it's only the joints of the body so i'm going to press ctrl z again if i press this center all of my joints are selected but again if i move it it's just the body that's moving so ctrl z again you have to select this little ball in the center which is purple okay so I'm going to select this center which I have already and all of the joints are selected then I'm going to press on shift I'm holding my shift and here I have to select all the garments that are related to this specific avatar so once I do select all of those you can see that the joints and the garments are selected all together so now I let go of shift you might think that right now we can move this, but no, we can't. Why? Because this gizmo that appears after you select all your garments, this gizmo is for your pattern and garments. So if I move this, this time you can see that the clothing is just moving and we don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to press Ctrl Z again. So while all of this is selected, you have to click again on this ball in the center. See, let me zoom in. I click on this purple surface. So remember, not on this part, not on the lower part, exactly on this blank space of the purple part. I'm going to click on this. Then I'm going to uh, press shift. Holding shift, I'm going to select all my patterns. And now I'm letting go of shift. Now, the tricky part is that I have to again click on that uh, ball that we have in the middle, which was purple. Now it's all yellow, right? So I zoom in to avoid the gizmo coming onto it. I find it and I click on it. And you can see that the gizmo changes now it's all of these together and still uh, the patterns and the avatar joints are selected so this time there should be no problem see and this is how we move it and i'm going to place it somewhere around here okay okay cool so this is how you move it so now i'm going to give you just some quick tips which uh, might help you in other things that you want to do related to the avatars so for example i have my figure i've gave it the pose that i want but i still need to change the pose what can i do can i change it after i've dressed my avatar yes you can i will delete um all the garments related to this avatar i want to go through some simple tips that might help you guys in your upcoming projects and in the future so i'm also going to delete this avatar then if you want to remove your avatar simply press on it and delete it okay so now we want to go a little bit through the joints and changing the joints after you have your um 
avatars dressed. So normally you can see that you can change the joints of your avatars as you want. And it's so important from where you do choose to change uh, the joints of your avatars. Okay. So for example, if I select here, which is the shoulder boning, and if I move it, you will see that the arm will come forward. So if I choose it from the elbow, obviously the elbow will be moving. Here, if I choose the leg and if I like bring it out, you can see that the leg comes out of the garment and the garment is not moving with it. So the solution for this is that while you have your boning on, also turn on your simulation. When you do turn on your simulation, these all work together. It gives the freedom to your garments to move as your model is moving. Okay, so right now, if I again click on this, you can see that while I bring up my leg, the garment will also move with it. And this uh, is the simulation going on and it's because it's on uh, the, the particle distance is on five so that's why it's moving a little bit slow so if I bring the particle distance down we won't even have this problem so I'm gonna press ctrl Z again so that I can just show you um, here let me change the particle distance so for changing particle distance so I am going to press Ctrl A and here I'm going to come turn this to 20 and remember this is also another tip when you have projects going on it's better to have your particle distance higher so the simulation is easier and faster so this time if we again press simulation which with space you will press simulation if I select the leg and if I move it, you can see that it moves very smoothly because our particle distance is higher, okay? So at the end end of your project where you're sure about everything, that's the time where you can bring your particle distance down uh, and you will not like go through a lot of drama while uh, designing. So this is basically how you can change the figure while you have dressed your avatar you can also give poses to it let me give you another example like you can yeah let's give it like a walking pose right is it good and the good thing in the latest versions is that it will ask you which avatar you want to give that pose to so every time you select an avatar it will become yellow so we're going to give it to this avatar with the clothing on. Let's see how that turns out. And voila, this is our avatar with the pose. And you can see that it still has a space with the ground. So again, as we learned, we will select this purple dot. Then we will hold shift, select all the patterns then here we will come and again select that middle dot which is now yellow and we can move our avatar to the ground or you can right click on your avatar move to ground which this because of the simulation being on the clothing and the avatar will uh, move together okay so while it's on simulation you can uh, basically do a lot but if the simulation is off just simply by selecting uh, the middle and selecting your patterns while holding shift and then finding that gizmo look like this gizmo right now is for the pattern okay so uh, as I told you this is just for the pattern so after you selected this and you selected the patterns you have to find the middle again and this is the gizmo for all of you uh, all of that you have selected so now if we move this you can see that 
uh, everything will move together. Let's uh, now add avatars from our library. Okay, so if I come here and if I like add, um, yeah, let's add this one. So if I double click here in this screen, it will again ask me the load type. Do I want to open it? So you know that with open, all of these will disappear. If I want to add it, which I do want to add it. And here, this time, we uh, we are going to um, give one meters distance to the Z line. Let's see where it place, places our avatar. So it's also asking maintain current avatar size and pose, open size and pose from the uh, garment file, which we don't have a garment. So first would be fine. And as you can see, it puts it one meter in front of our grid is the placement that we chose. So let's try just something else. Oh, let me add like men. Maybe you're wondering if it makes any difference which it doesn't so if I like place a male avatar again it will ask you the same question add so this time I'm going to um, so this time I'm going to come here and I'm going to press minus two for example okay let's see what minus does or minus one okay minus one because I want them all to be one so minus one on X. Here it is. So minus one comes on the left as you are looking to your screens. Okay, so it is one meters left from the center of your grid. So again, if I add another avatar, add, and here you can also select the unit like you want it to be in centimeters, inch, meters, foot, uh, it's up to you. So meter is fine for me. So this time I'm going to delete this and I'm going to put, um, if I put like minus one here, I think you guys right now know where it's going to go, right? So why was this uh, line? Okay, so it's going to come one meters lower than um, our grid. So if I put two, the head will completely go uh, lower than our grid. Okay, so I'm going to press Control Z. This time I'm going to I'm going to add another one. And I'm going to put all of these um, sizes for it. Let's see what happens if we put all of them on minus one. Okay, so as you can see, it has took it back to the left and also down. Okay, so I hope that it made sense for you guys. Uh, and here it's very easy to move the avatar because it doesn't have like any clothing on. Or you can just like right click, move avatar to ground or to center. If I press center, it will bring the avatar to the center. If I press ground, it will bring it completely to the ground. And by selecting the middle part of my avatar, I can just simply move it. And um, yeah, so that's basically, I think, all that you needed to know about the avatars. Uh, this, I hope this video answers your questions and let me know if there's anything else that you guys are struggling with. And don't forget that you ask me, I search for it and we learn together. Thank you so much for sticking around and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!